You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Yourentertainmentticket.com. I am the film critic for yeticket.com. Hey, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Now, this was directed by Ben Stiller. Also, he stars in it, too. He also in this is Kristen Wiig and Adam Scott. Well, you, if you know the story about Walter Mitty, this guy... He went into his imagination and created adventures for himself. You know, he'll zone out and things like that. Well, here in this film, Walter Mitty, he worked for Life magazine, and he was a, a what do you call it, a negative, negative acquisition person. In other words, when photographers shot on film, they send the negatives to him, so he looked at them, made sure they was good and things like that. Then they would choose the pictures from the negatives to put in Life magazine. But at this time, Life magazine was going online, so they weren't going to print out any more, you know, books that you can hold in your hand. So he's getting ready to lose his job. But as Walter Mitty, Ben Stiller, were talking to people, he was zoned out about saving people from a fiery building. He was zoned out about other adventures while you're talking to him. Come on. Now, today, if somebody starts zoning out, every time you talk to them, aren't you ready to give them some Prozac or, or something for ADSS or whatever you think they might have? And, and if he's been doing this all his life, shouldn't he be in the hospital? That's the questions I keep asking myself while I was watching this film. But anyway, he finally meets Christian Wig, and her name is Cheryl. And, you know, he wanted to kiss her, date her, because he really... You know, wasn't dating or anything like that at this time. And, you know, he's taking care of his mom. He has a sister and things like that. But one day, one of the negatives was missing, number 25, and a photographer uh, didn't put it in there. Not where he was supposed to find it. So he went searching for the photographer. And finally, he went looking for the photographer. You know, he got in bad helicopters with drunken pilots. He he wrestled with sharks. He was around a volcano. He saw, you know, other interesting things that he traveled. He paid his money to on a plane. Now, this is where I got a little turned around because, remember, this is about Walter Mitty, a guy. He imagined he had adventures. So was this a real adventure that he went on? In this film, was this real? They really didn't answer that question. They did it, and they never talked about it in this film. Well, part of it is, uh, I didn't really like this Walter Mitty that much. And it really wasn't that fun to watch. And Kristen Wiig, I thought she was a little wasted in this film. You know, you look at, every time you think of Christian Wig, you know, you want her to do a little bit more, have a little more life in the film, and this one she didn't. And, uh, you know, Scott, Adam Scott as the boss, he played a real nerdy guy. I really enjoyed that part. But it was just kind of hard for me to believe it because I did not understand if this is about Walter Mitty, remember it's about his imagination, it wasn't supposed to be real. Was this real in the film? And it really didn't answer that question for me. Did I miss something? You let me know. I'm only going to give this two palm trees because I missed something and I did not enjoy it that much. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Well, Ben Stiller, you got to try it again as a director. What can I say? But I did say two palm trees. That means it's just an average film. Ben, try it again. I'm Al McGee, Ben, with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Yeticket.com. 
Who's dying?